high quality of the CPR. So to start off with questions, first question is how fast must the CPR be given? What is the frequency? Next is what is the depth we need to achieve during while giving the CPR? What is the depth? Next one is what about chest recoil? So what amount of chest recoil should we attempt? Like should there be a partial chest recoil or should there be a complete chest recoil? So we'll find out these answers in this video. So firstly, what is a high quality CPR? It is when the following conditions are met. The following conditions are met. So the first one being you have to push hard. That is a depth of 5 to 6 centimeter must be attained. Then next one is we need to push at a frequency of about 120 per minute. That is anything above 100 and around 120 frequency. Next is the chest recoil. So when we look at the chest recoil, it has to be, it has to be complete. So there is complete chest recoil which need to be attained. Then when we look at the minimizing the interruptions, so we minimize. So we minimize the interruptions and in compression less than 10 seconds. Next, we need to avoid the avoid, avoid excess, excess ventilation. And as we move on, the rotate, we need to rotate, rotate the compressor every two minutes. So we rotate the compressor every two minutes or earlier in case we are fatigued. Next one is if there is no advanced airway, in case there is no advanced airway, a 30 is to 2, a 30 is to 2 compression ventilation ratio is done. Ratio. And other thing to notice the attempt to improve CPR. So there is an attempt to improve CPR in case the quantitative, the quantitative waveform capnography. So this is another important, we need to know all the waveforms patterns in the capnography. So here the quantitative waveform capnography, the finding that is the PET CO2 is less than the 10 mm Hg. Next one is that the intra arterial pressure intra arterial pressure and this is if relaxation phase pressure is less than if the relaxation phase pressure is less than the 20 mm hg now we'll answer our questions so the question we asked first was what is the frequency the frequency at which the CPR must be given. So the frequency is 100 to 120 per minute. The next question we asked was, what is the depth of the CPR? So the depth, how much needs to be pushed? So the depth we need to achieve is 5 to 6 centimeters. Next, we look at the chest recoil. So in case of the chest recoil, how much chest recoil should we allow? So we need to allow a full or complete chest recoil. 